Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige if you're new here and welcome to day three of Halloween. Today's video is going to be about a Halloween candy. Probably the most unpopular Halloween candy, but I like it. It's candy corn. Yay! I like candy corn. <laughs> I do, I really do. Call me what you want, but I like it. So I kind of already went ahead to save some time and did one eye off camera. So I'm going to talk about candy corn and do the other eye right now. So let's just jump on into it, shall we? <laughs> gonna start with a crime scene tape because duh this one's gonna be kind of like short sweet to the point but make a fun it'd be a fun look at the end i think okay and as always i will link everything that i am using down below so According to oral tradition, George Renninger, a candy maker at the Wonderly Candy Company in Philadelphia, invented the tri-color candy in the 1880s. It's been around for a while, so get used to it because it's not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. So the Geolitz Confectionery Company bought brought the candy to the masses at the turn of the 20th century. So that company is now called Jelly Belly and it has the longest history in the industry of making candy corn. The method has changed, but the original recipe is still used. So now we're gonna talk about how candy corn is made. So it starts as a mixture of sugar, fondant, corn syrup, vanilla flavor, and marshmallow cream. That literally all sounds delicious. And the ingredients are melted into a liquid candy called slurry colored and run through a cornstarch molding process to create each kernel. Wooden trays are filled with cornstarch are imprinted with the rows of candy corn molds where the layers are individually deposited from bottom to top. The mixture cools in a tray, which seals the three layers together. Then the kernels are sifted from the trays and polished in large drum pans with an edible wax and glaze to create their shine. So some fun facts about candy corn some of these were really interesting so the original name is chicken fed chicken feed chicken feed is what candy corn was originally called it's weird i'm glad they changed it <laughs> and the boxes were illustrated with a colorful rooster logo and a tagline that said something worth crowing for I, I love it so national candy corn day is on october 30th more than 17,000 tons of candy corn are produced each year so that's the equivalent to 35 million pounds or 9 billion pieces. <laughs> that's crazy. So for all you candy corn haters out there, it's actually one of the better for you Halloween candy. It contains roughly 28 grams of sugar and only 140 calories per heaping handful. And they're fat free. Yep. Go get your candy corn, folks. It's healthier for you. <laughs> and candy corn has the longest shelf life. Once opened, you can store candy corn covered and away from the heat and light at room temperature. And it should last you about three to six months. If you don't open it, it'll last you nine months. 
All right, so as usual, I'm going to go off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. And I'm back. And this is the final look. I think it's so cute, it's so fun. Um, I love doing these. These are really fun so far for me. Um, so of course I will post everything that I used in the description box below for you to check out. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked, please like this video, consider subscribing to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.